sleepy boy chicho chicho something i was thinking about during your m1 video was was i don't think i properly understood inflation looking at that chart it's obvious the dollar will drop because they printed over 40 percent total amount in one year what does that that mean though will things become more or less expensive here's the kicker sleepy ways yes they printed 40 percent more dollars right if you want to think about it that way they made it available uh rapid money right uh high liquid high um what do you call it um velocity right but what was that relative to other countries printing right don't forget the video sleepy waves don't forget the video you have to consume that in 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 in, in collaboration with this right differential accumulation now for anyone that really wants to understand uh economics if you really want to know what what's really going on right take a look at this now this is the last video i put out regarding the french equation in the thingamajiggy format and i believe it should have the link i didn't link it up yeah i should have linked it up personal finance personal finance currency money oh yeah it did so take a look at this video okay this is an important video this is about differential equation i'll give you the summary of it uh, right now as soon as i link this up so this is the video i'm talking about and if you go into the description i usually try to put reference videos and playlists and stuff in the description and if you scroll down the description at the bottom you'll see playlist personal finance and investing you have the videos there but i'm referencing the following two videos personal finance currency money and the economy part one and currency money and economy part two where we talk about differential accumulation this video that i just linked up is sort of a follow-up to those two videos right and the to understand economics to understand what's going on in the markets you have to understand the averages so what it is is you want to depending on the game that you're playing you want to in general beat the averages right it's like it's not enough just to beat inflation because inflation numbers are fictitious right centralized governments put out in, in this is inflation that's inflation so inflation numbers are hokey pokey right so what you want to do is beat the averages that's what you want to do and this also applies to money supply right u.s government increased the money supply 40 percent let's assume all the other all the other um let's say the next 10 countries that are considered to be safe investment uh hubs and the united states still relative to the rest of the world is a pretty safe investment place right let's assume the next 10 countries in the list increase the money supply by 80 percent right well relative to 40 percent relative to 80 percent 40 percent looks still legit right so the 40 percent increase in money supply doesn't necessarily mean that the us dollar is going to be devaluing relative to other currencies however the 40 percent money supply here and the 80 percent money supply here most likely is going to imply that the cost of goods is going to go up not their nominal not their actual cost in terms of human power but their cost relative to the fiat currency right so what you're seeing right now is rise in prices now for example one person i loaded up the comic book hall I th com we did a comic book reading superman 37 right a couple of days ago i loaded up and i just loaded up the comic book hall today right and someone on one of those videos asked me if i had silver surfer number one right from 1960s the original run and i said yeah i do have it it's low grade and the person mentioned that he wished they had it but the price is too high and i hadn't checked the price right i hadn't checked the price on silver surfer number one and i said oh i do have a copy if i come across it we'll do a reading of it and it's a thick one like there's no way we could finish it right so it's a thick sort of a larger size silver surfer number one from 1960s and i do have a copy is low grade low grade but i bought that in a lot i bought silver surfer number one two three five six 
seven so i bought six of them for 232 dollars us throw in like 20 dollars shipping or something so let's say 250 dollars us okay and number three was in good shape pretty good shape from what i remember there's buried somewhere right and i bought those in 2014 for 250 dollars us right now right now you can sit down and go do a price check let's say the surfer servers of number one is graded at two let's assume it's a two right let's assume the rest of them are graded at I don't know what they were i wish i remembered right it was seven years ago right let's say the rest of them are between let's say they're four i think they were higher but let's say they're four right you do a price check 250 dollars seven years ago that thing is going to cost you a lot more right now that to me is inflation right it's also the worth going up but you're seeing this kind of jump all over the place all over the place right the reason you're seeing this type of jump is because in 2008 trillions of dollars were given to wall street right it was consolidation right and that money needed to find places to go right where did it go it went everywhere it went everywhere right it went into collectibles it went into real estate it went into cryptos it went into stock market it went everywhere right you have to understand all of them connected together all of them connected together 